Thank you for visiting Architect to learn more about the exciting new SideScope Flip Spectacle Telescope System. Introduced in 2013, the SideScope Flip has fast become very popular with both prescribers and patients for its ease of use, its wonderfully wide field of view, and its competitive pricing. Fitting is as easy as regular eyeglasses, and even if you've never prescribed a bioptic telescope before, you'll find it to be a breeze the very first time. The SideScope Flip is a Galilean telescope system available in 1.7 and 2.2 powers. The specially designed mounting assembly allows the telescopes to not only be easily aligned for each eye and flipped out of the way when not needed, but they can also be separated just as you would a pair of binoculars to produce the widest field of view available of any spectacle telescope today. It can be prescribed for one or both eyes, and reading caps are available that allow you to provide clear, crisp binocular vision at near working distances. The side scope can be prescribed in bioptic or full diameter positions simply by choosing the appropriate frame. Clip-on versions are available both for testing and patient prescriptions. As mentioned earlier, the side scope flip is available in 1.7 and 2.2 powers. The monocular fields of view are 26 and 18 degrees respectively, and when prescribed binocularly, the 1.7 provides a 32 and a half degree field of view and the 2.2 power yields a 22 and a half degree field. Since the prescribing goal is for the patient to read approximately 2040 through the telescope, a 1.7 power will be appropriate for best corrected visual acuity of about 2070 and with the 2.2 power to about 2100. The 1.7 power will be in focus from approximately 5 feet to optical infinity, while the 2.2 power will be in focus from 7 feet to infinity. The SideScope's innovative mechanical mounting design gives you complete alignment, position, and control, making the demonstrating, prescribing, and dispensing of a high-quality optical telescope very simple. No special measurements are needed. Just take the patient's PD and the seg height if prescribing a bifocal. That's all. Because there's such a wide field of view and that there's no focusing required, your patients will see more clearly immediately, creating a very positive first response. The SideScope offers a range of prescribing options, which we'll talk about shortly. And in the unlikely event that a device is returned, it's virtually completely reusable. The innovative mechanical mounting of the SideScope flip makes prescribing a binocular system simple and easy. Binocular systems are usually more comfortable and less fatiguing for patients to wear. They provide a normal cyclopean eye perspective, making localization for the device more natural. The wide field of view is especially beneficial for driving and for near-point activities such as reading and playing music. And its modern high-tech appearance and the ability to be flipped out of the way are very appealing to the patient. The side scope flip can be prescribed in the bioptic position using Architex K and Unisex frames, as seen in the left photo. Bioptic positioning is suggested for distance and mobility oriented activities, including driving. Note that the user must tilt their head down slightly to look through the eyepiece. It can also be positioned in the straight ahead or full diameter position using Architex sleek frame, as shown in the picture to the right. Notice that in this instance, the patient does not have to tilt their head to look through the side scope. The full diameter position is more convenient for straight ahead and near point activities such as television, theater, card and game playing, using the computer and reading music and books. Fitting the side scope requires just four easy steps. In step one, simply slide each telescope right and left until they're centered with your patient's pupil. The optics are sharpest in the very center, so it's desirable to fine-tune the alignment to be certain each telescope is ideally positioned. In step two, for bioptic positioning, adjust the nose pad so that the bottom of the eyepiece aligns with the top of the pupil, as shown by the red arrow in this photo. For full diameter positioning, adjust the nose pad so the pupil is centered in the eyepiece, as shown by the red arrow. The pupil does not need to be perfectly centered up and down, but should not be too close to the top or bottom of the eyepiece. In step three, we adjust the viewing angle of the telescope using the Allen screw adjustment tool. 
On most side scope versions, there is a center adjustment screw to position the telescope to provide the optimum viewing angle. The red arrow in the top right picture shows the adjustment screw with the Allen tool inserted. The top left photo shows how the tool will be rotated right or left to achieve the proper viewing angle. This may take several turns. In the left photo, the red arrow shows that the viewing angle of the telescope is tilting downward and not parallel to the line of sight of the user, the black line. In the right photo, the side scope has been angled upward so that the viewing angle of the telescope, the green line, is parallel to the user's line of sight. Finally, separate each telescope slightly, as you would a pair of binoculars, to gain the widest field of view possible. If the patient reports that they're seeing double, then you've gone too far. In many instances, you can allow the patient to make the final adjustment themselves. Now, you're all done. You'll soon find that describing the process takes much longer than actually doing it. And don't forget to show them how easy it is to flip the side scope out of the way. Remind your patient to treat and care for the side scope as if it were a camera. Never run it under water, drop it, or force it out of position. To address your patient's near-point activity goals, reading caps are available in powers from plus one to plus three in half diopter steps, which will provide near focus to as close as 13 inches. Each reading cap has the appropriate prism power so that they can be used binocularly. When placing the reading caps on the sight scope to orient the prisms properly, the small nub should be positioned toward the nose. Slip behind filters are also available in five colors that match the shape of all architect metal frames. Since the side scope is non-focusable, individuals with a distance refractive error will need their correction to see as clearly as possible. A clip-on version, included as part of the diagnostic kit, can be attached to your patient's glasses so they can appreciate the full visual benefit they will receive. The alignment method is the same as discussed previously, though there is no line of sight adjustment screw. Simply change the angle of the telescope at the hinge on the clip. If no distance refraction is required, using the side scope mounted on the standard frame is the most convenient way to fully demonstrate the functionality of the system. Some prescribers have found it desirable to dispense the plastic clip-on system to their patients. This clip will accommodate most all frame styles. Architect also offers a metal spring clip option, which will position the side scope in the biopic position on Architect's K and unisex frames. Care must be taken when using non-Architect frames to confirm that there is sufficient vertical height, the B-frame dimension, and a high enough bridge to provide proper telescope positioning. The bottom left photo shows the spring clip on the Architect K-frame using the rubber bridge grommet to firmly position the clip in place. The rubber grommet should be removed for plastic frames. Note that in the bottom right photo, the low position of the side scope on the plastic frame may not be ideal for effective use of the device. As we discussed, the prescribing goal is to achieve 20-40 visual acuity through the side scope. This level of acuity is generally considered adequate for most all visual activities. We suggest that you prescribe carrier lenses even if there is just a slight refractive error as it will maximize the acuity through the system. If your patient normally wears a multifocal, consider including that as well. Avoid trifocals and progressives as the segments are usually too high to provide a large enough distance viewing area. Since the sight scope is designed to be positioned in front of the carrier lenses, no eyepiece corrections are required. Remember to choose the proper architect frame for your intended purpose, the K or unisex frames for distance and mobility activities, the sleek frame for extended viewing, mid-range, and tabletop goals. We also recommend that you prescribe the side scope binocularly, as even with poor vision in one eye, the perception of binocularity, the larger field of view, and the enhanced visual comfort are usually preferred by the patient. We hope that you have found this presentation to be helpful. Low vision specialists from throughout the country and beyond have found the SightScope to become their preferred telescope solution for their patients with 2100 or better acuity. Architect offers special pricing on SightScope diagnostic kits and maintains an active patient referral program 
that can send new patients to your door. We look forward to welcoming you as a new SideScope prescriber and invite you to contact us for more information. Thanks again and have a great day.